Hey guys, back here with another video. I'm sorry that I have not filmed in forever, but today we I'm just going to give you like a desk tour because I don't have anything pre-filmed. I mean, I do, but like I don't like how the pieces turned out. But yeah, so that's all my stuff under my desk. And then that's my marker bucket basically. I have like a lot of markers. Yeah, I've been building up my collection. And then there's me. At this point, I don't even care if y'all see me. Because, like, you're going to find out one way or another. And this is my travel kit thingamajiggy. Yeah, that's just the stuff that I bring with me. There's my sketchbook. And that's, like, the bottle of water that I use over there in that corner for watercolor. And then this is my drawer. And all those pictures are pictures that I haven't put on the wall. And those are old journals. Yeah, that's all my old art. So, appreciate it. Then that's artwork that I have not put yet on the wall. And this is for school. That's for school. That's for school. The tape's for watercolor. But the post-it notes are for school. And then the paper for school. And then, oh yay, a drawing book. Fabulous. Um... And then there's my marker sketchbook. And then we have some cheap sketchbooks and a huge watercolor sketchbook right under that. And, yeah. And then, yeah. So, I have pencils over there in that corner. And I have, like, an outlet under my desk. And I'm not sure I showed the, that. But I have outlets for everything. That's my water-based markers. Like, Crayola and stuff like that. Then there's my throat... 3.3 million Prisma colors that I have, and some charcoal pencils, and Artist Loft. Yeah, weird flux, but okay. And then these things are like weird pencil lights. I don't know what they are. I mean, I got them in a set of art stuff, like you know, one of those cheap boxes and stuff like stuff like that. Yeah, it came in one of those. I think it's Artist Loft. But those are all my markers. If you wanna. Have another look at them. Put that back because it sincerely bothers me. And then for some reason I have scent on my desk. Can't even smell it. It's not the strongest thing in the world. And then, yeah, that's that's the wall again. You see how proud I am. Now I have an art haul. Yay. So we have these. Oh, I forgot what they're called. Um. Mm, I'll be back. Alright, I'm back. Okay, so I had to go check what brand it is. It doesn't actually say it on the tubes, but they are Reeves gouache thing. Gouache tubes. And yeah, like, I didn't really have a palette. I'm working on getting one of those. But they are kind of chalk cakes. They were like sixteen dollars at michael's i can't imagine how cheap they are online but honestly they're good it, it's not really a good representation right now of how chalky they are but like i have i'll do on paper later and like it's comes up on my finger better um yeah i have like 18 of those that came in a set and then i got one three windsor and newton watercolors and these things are heavy they're like and then they're ten dollars each. They're pretty expensive. They're they're mighty proud. That's like gold, gold. And then um, I got like three colors, the primary colors, because I wanted to make my own palette. But guess who didn't get a palette? Me. So yeah. And then I got these two brushes, and then that then one's a mop brush, and another one's a brown brush. This is the mop brush. I love it so much. It's so soft. It's like a big makeup brush. It's I love it. It's, I'm going to show the sizes here. Let me read it. It's the E-Light brush. No, Princeton brush. And it's that size or whatever. But it's a mop. It's a mop. Yeah, that sucker holds so much water. It takes like three days for it to dry completely out. Like I have to blow dry it. And I'm not sure if that's healthy or not. I'll make a video on that. But, um, then I got this round brush, which I thought it was really weird at first, because it had, like, different, like, lengths. But, yeah, round, says it right there, and it's the same brand, and it's size 12. 
So, they were also mighty proud of those. They were like 20 bucks a brush. Like, sorry, but wow, that they were mighty proud. And then we have this big watercolor sketchbook, which I could barely even fit into the frame. And if I actually did that anymore, then I would have knocked it off my desk and ruined everything. So, that's not good. Yeah, it's pretty big. I don't know if I forgot how many pages it has in it. I'm not sure. I think I show it. Not sure, though. I probably don't. But it was like $22. And it was, yeah. It's awesome. I'm painting a picture right now using one of those, well, a piece from it. And that's something that I was working on. Now it's finished. It's in my room, and I'm looking at it. Yeah. Signed it and everything. It has my real name on it, so I'm not going to show you. Yay. But, yeah. I really like how that turned out. And gave it to my dad. And then, like, you know, like a mini sketchbook. Flip through. That's one that I filmed, but I didn't like how it turned out. Because, like, I kept messing up on the hair. Put it down in the comments if you want me to do that. Like, the one with the glasses on. If you want me to show you all that speed paint because it's also like a vertical video because i didn't put my phone right and i was getting like my camera set up and all that ready and i did it all wrong and then there's my hair and then yes this is how chalky the reeves watercolor gouache is so yeah and then it's a sketch and this is for treasure island i know i haven't watched the movie i don't draw boys that much so like this is this boy's not pretty at all I mean, yeah, some people may think it is pretty, but, like, I'm not very good at drawing boys. So, if you're good at drawing boys and I did something wrong, please tell me. I mean, I know I do everything wrong, so you're probably going to have to write three comments. But, <laughs> yeah. And then, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. I first started off that other picture in my sketchbook, and then I tore it out because I kept doing that. Yeah, so basically I have to write, draw on the back of that page. That's great, right? Right, yay. Um, yeah, and this is my um, watercolor set. And the reason I got more watercolor and stuff like that is because my red was almost out, okay? Yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video. I'm sorry that I have not filmed. That's my glass water thing. I'm sorry I haven't filmed in three weeks or done anything for th in three weeks. I just started school back and so did a lot of people. But um, I, I'm like trying to get everything together. But yeah, I'll try to do something. This weekend, probably not though. Because I don't feel like it. And I don't have to. So um, yeah. Awkward silence. But what should I do for my next video? Um, I've been getting into watercolors lately, so any watercolor challenges that you have, that'd be nice. Yeah. And my favorite marker dried out, and I'm so sad. Now you're going to sit here and watch me put all my stuff in a beautiful order to make it all pretty and everything. Whenever I don't even use that for the thumbnail, which I'm sad I didn't. But, um... I spent, like, time on this. Yeah. So, um... Yeah, if you like aesthetics and stuff like that, this is, like, your time to shine in this video. Like, if I like aesthetics, too. But, like, as I'm not a very aesthetic person. I'm kind of like, oh, that works. That looks nice. That's... No, you know what? This is not even, but it's fine. Yeah. And then... I don't know why this is taking me so long. And why does my hair love the camera so much? I film with my phone, so I don't know why I'm calling it a camera. It's nothing special. But, um, yeah, this is pretty nice. And you can see all the way in the top left corner the books that I use for my camera setup. And, yeah, that's nice, right? Oh my god, I just realized that one's crooked. The yellow is messed up. Oh, I fixed it. Okay, good. Yes. Yes. Okay. Mm, what am I doing now? Bye, guys.